Today I'm going to show you how I use my iPhone. So Apple products, iPhones, iPads, iPods, have a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. So VoiceOver is what's known as a screen reader. And a screen reader is a piece of software that reads all the elements on my cell phone or my smartphone aloud to me. Now I access everything on the smartphone differently than a sighted person would. I use gestures with my fingers in order to navigate around the screen. So I can use one finger and I can swipe left or right. Calendar, Tuesday, October 23rd. To switch between the apps on my screen. Weather. News. App Store. Settings. App Store. News. App Store. Settings. And then to activate an app, I can double tap on the screen with one finger. Maps. Settings. Now I'm going to show you Settings. Heading. how to turn voiceover on if you are helping someone who is visually impaired or blind, or if you are visually impaired or blind. There are different ways of doing this, but I'm going to show you how to go into the settings and find voiceover and turn it on. Search. Greg Keith. Airplay. Wi-Fi. Bluetooth. Cellular. Notification. Sounds. Do not disturb. Screen time. General. Button. Go into general. I'm going to double tap. Selected. Settings. Back button. General. Heading. I'm going to use one finger and swipe to the right. About. Button. Software update. Airdrop. Button. Down handoff. To, button. I'm going to go down to accessibility. CarPlay. Button. Accessibility. Button. And double click. Selected. General. Back button. I'm going to look for the option called voiceover. Accessibility. Heading. Vision. Heading. Voiceover. On. Button. There it is. It says it's on. But I'm going to go in there. On. Accessibility. Back button. Okay. Voiceover. Heading. Voiceover. On. On. Voiceover. Speaks items on the screen. Okay. There's a little brief tutorial. Tap once to select an item. Double tap to activate the selected item. Swipe three fingers to scroll. Voiceover practice button. So I'm back here on my home screen, and I'm just going to swipe left and right to show you what apps are here on my home screen. Calendar, Tuesday, October 23rd. Weather. News. App Store. Settings. Maps. Notes. Junk folder. Seven app extras folder. Six apps. Files. Contacts. Home. FaceTime. Measure. Page 203. Adjustable. Dock. Phone. One new item. Now I have some uh, apps that are in my dock, which if I was to change screens from this screen to the to, to screen 3, these items in the dock would, would remain the same while the apps on the actual screen would uh, change. Mail. 11 unread emails. I have my phone, my email. Safari. Safari messages and messages down there in my dock. So I will three finger swipe to the left to go to my third page. Okay. Actions available. If it'll cooperate. Measure. Page three of three. Facebook. Okay. So again I can swipe left or right. YouTube. Music folder. Two app camera. Photos. iMovie. Amazon Alexa. Sing AI, Spotify, Tap Tap C, Messenger, one new app, Health, Messenger, one new item. Oh, I have someone trying to get a hold of me on Messenger. Health, GarageBand, Blind Bargains, A Blind Legend, Self Eeks, Talking Tuner, Amazon, Uber, YT Studio, Bard Mobile, WBMG 12 New, Page 3 of 3, Adjustable. Okay, so there are my, you know, just some of my apps on my uh, home screens. Let's check out Facebook here real quick. I'm gonna Facebook. Double tap on that. Facebook. Back. Button. So I'm on the Blind Awareness Facebook page. Blind Awareness. Heading. And I can one finger swipe. Blind Awareness. Search field. Share. Button. Write something on the page. Share photo. See visitor posts. Okay. In progress. Info and ads. Button. Profile photo. 
So I can scroll down the page with three fingers. Page two of two, top of screen. Write something on the page. Page two. See all. Blind awareness. September 19th. Everyone. More. One. Who uses a white cane? While in pop culture, the white cane is synonymous with total blindness. In reality, most users are not completely blind. About 85% have some degree of vision. That vision may be light perception only or all the way to some usable vision. The now I can stop the her from talking by touching two fingers to the screen. Two. That's very helpful because sometimes she gets talking out of control and I just want to throw my phone out the window because Siri is driving me crazy. Alright guys, that about wraps this video up. So stay tuned because I'm going to be doing more iOS voiceover videos in the future. So that being said, why don't I ask you a question? Which do you prefer? iOS with voiceover or Android with TalkBack for your accessibility on your smartphone or tablet? So let me know what you think down in the comments below. And this has been another episode of The Blind Guy Show. I'm out.